Hello, everybody. We are playing not only with Kinetic Sand. <laughs> That's right, Arliss. Kinetic Sand. Uh huh. Yeah, you like that? You like that word, Kinetic Sand? Kinetic Sand! Kinetic Sand! We are also working on multiple different projects. This is the top to a toy box, or what will be a toy box. Then I'm going to strip down for Crow. Put his toys in, because right now they're in a big old plastic rubber bin that his dad, other dad, despises. I just picked this bad boy up today. That's right, it has a mirror. Mirror, oh yeah! Ooh, dad dance in front of the mirror in the driveway! Ucha, 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 ucha. This is going to be converted into a little bathroom pantry. It's got a lot of work, a lot of ways to go, but it's very old. I don't know what year it was made, but it's like nails sticking up and stuff. So I got this guy to clean up. Not doing much besides cleaning, maybe a little waxing and adding some shelves. And over here in this messy as all hell garage, we have this little chicken wire thing. Uh, this is a wardrobe uh, dresser. I don't know what it would be considered. This is for Rosa. And the, whoever painted it, this shabby, chicish, um, actually did a really good job, but they didn't do the inside. And I don't love that the inside is still like this original weird wood, but it is like pretty solid feeling wood. <sighs> so we're gonna leave it. I am going to take this hideous thing off uh, and put a mirror in here. And then it's just gonna stay white with an exception of these ugly stencils. I'm going to sand those off. She's not very happy about that. But I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, and then either paint these hinges or find ones that actually um, fit. These look like they were added. They don't really quite you see there's like a gap. Um, and I could tighten those up, but usually those like fit into the wood and then this metal part is, is flush with this, I don't know. It just seems like we could spruce it up and make it a little nicer for her, relatively easy. And this is the other part of the toy box that I'm working on for Crow. And don't ask me why I decided to take on all these projects. Well, I'm gonna tell you, because our house is a complete shit show and there's stuff everywhere and we have no storage anywhere. So um, this is my uh, attempt to clear out some of this craziness and uh Rats. yeah boy look at your look at this so broken right here i have some stripper Whoa. not that kind of strippers <laughs> knock it off <laughs> and uh and uh, i'm gonna throw some on and see how uh, I might end up bailing on this whole process and just taking some paints on. But when, last night when I was cleaning it up, it kind of started peeling off this brown paint. But there's blue paint, there's red paint. Red paint is No, you said you wanted blue paint. But I'm talking about the paint that was underneath this brown paint. Um, so we're gonna test this and see how this goes. I'm just gonna do this. Stripping. Whoa! Well, you you went too far there. Inappropriate. Don't be inappropriate. It was you. Hey, I'm an adult. I'm allowed to be inappropriate. But you said don't be inappropriate to us when we were doing anything. You said whoa! Yeah. You knew exactly what you were doing. Um, I got some paint on it. Holy sh sh poopies. <laughs> that's not paint, that's stripper. Not on my GoPro. Oof. I 
Those are good. Because I don't like that Those came off really easy. This is scraping right off. Look at that. Scrape, 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 scrape. I have gotten all the sides stripped of paint. Uh, some colors still left on there, but there's something about it that I love because it will still be brown, but it still has pops of color for a kid's room. I think that's kind of cool. However, I have hit a pickle on the inside. I sh I've debated whether I should try to strip this out or just leave it green because I kind of like the green, but it was still, there's just something about it that I wanted it to be completely stripped out and sanded and just nobody else's anything on it and have it feel like a solid piece of just wood type of furniture. Well, I started putting the remover on it and started scraping and now I'm out of remover. I've already gone to the store once to get more and I don't feel like going back. So I'm just roughing it right now because I'm being lazy and I'm really gonna embrace the scratched up look on the inside. Of course, I'll sand some of that up, but um, it's a wrap. Honey! There's a few little chunks. It's unicorn poop. But it still is fun. I just love you so much. I just love you so much. Oh, you stink. Get out of here. All right, well, check it out. I have sanded as much as I can. I'm leaving some of the color on there because I feel like a little old uh, paint might make for a good touch. Um, I've sanded as much as I'm gonna go. And now it's time to stain and wax. And on the inside, most of the paint off. I'm leaving that on the bottom because just because it's too much but I'm gonna put some contact paper down there anyways and then enough on the sides to add a little character. I don't even know if you'll see it so much through the stain but I'm pretty stoked. There's a few spots that you know it's just really just plywood so kind of sanded it a little too much trying to get gobs of paint off We'll see if that adds to the character. Uh, next step, pre-stain. With this stuff here, pre-stain, helps even out the color on the wood so it's not splotchy. I don't really know if it works, but Matt thinks I should do it, so I'm gonna do it. He's out there weeding. Okay, so it is, we are ready to stain. I'm going to choose one of these two I don't know which one. I'm going to pick a number, close my eyes, and point to one. One is Dark Oak, the other one is Tudor Brown. What are you laughing at? That's never a good That's thing. It's a funny shot. It's so much oh. trash in the yard. So much. That's not even the trashiest part. I mean, definitely could have used stain first, I feel like. Oh, she is done. She, he, they, finito. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. There's a few spots of, that was, I don't know, that's just part of the wood. Not part of the wood, but it's pretty. She pretty. Got some contact paper in it. it smells fresh. Oh, I just love it. I love it. Best 20 bucks I ever spent. All right, let's get some toys in it. And then next we have Mr. Rose's project. And then after that, we have this one for the bathroom. Lots to do. Ooh. 
Love it. 